next candidate for uh, delegate to the National Convention is a person that I've known very well, a great conservative from this great city of Danville, which is in my district. Woo! Delegate Danny Marshall. Good afternoon. I know that I'm standing between you and the sunshine outside, so I'll bring you a break. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank each and every one of you for being out uh, this afternoon. I know you had plenty of things you could do on this beautiful uh, Saturday, but I don't know of anything more important than what we're getting ready to do here. We have got to take this country back uh, this November. We need an all rally behind the Romney for president, our Republican candidate for U.S. Senate, and our Congressman Robert Hurt this November. I ask for your support there. We've got to make sure we get involved uh, this November. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, I am third generation in a family owned business. My brother and I uh, sold the business in 2006, the business that my grandfather started uh, with one mule and himself uh, way back when. And uh, then my father went uh, in a new business in 1960 with eight employees. In 2006, uh, when uh, my brother and I sold the business, we had built that to 11 locations across Virginia. We had had 180 Virginians that worked for us. We live the American dream. I am part of the American dream. What I do with General Assembly is I work so other people can have the American dream also. Ladies and gentlemen, I have served in the Virginia House of Delegates for 11 years. I represent Danville, part of Pennsylvania, and part of Henry County. It is a true honor and pleasure to serve the, uh, the 14th District. My main goal for the whole 11 years is to help grow jobs uh, in uh, South South Virginia. I represent the highest unemployment rate uh, in, uh, in the state of Virginia. We are uh, in the Virginia General Assembly we cannot pass and, and create laws, but what we need to do is foster a pro-job environment. We have a governor who understands that, we have a lieutenant governor who understands that, and it's really a real pleasure to uh, serve with them compared to the other two that we've served with. You can see that creating jobs in the private sector is a priority in the White House that uh, they don't understand that. And that one of the things we have to do is to make sure that we get that, uh, uh, that uh, pro-jobs uh, agenda uh, in the White House this November. My first 10 years, I have served a district that was 5% generic ballot Democratic vote. So if you generic vote, 5% uh, was a generic Democratic vote. Governor Kane, an ex-minority leader, Lord Armstrong, and ex-delegate Brian Moran in 2007 and 2009 wasted a uh, million dollars of Democratic money to try to unseat you. I'm still here. Thank God. Yeah. 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 That, uh, especially on this front row, who uh, I thank uh, for their help. Let me tell you a little bit about my legislative report card. In 19, uh, 2007, I was uh, Legislator of the Year by the uh, American Council of Engineering Companies. I have an A, 100% uh, <coughs> rating from the Family Foundation, an A, 100% rating from the National Federation of Independent Business, uh, an A rating from the uh, Virginia Farm Bureau, and an A rating from the uh, Virginia Commerce uh, Chamber of Commerce. I also have one of, uh, there's a group called CPAC, that you probably have heard of. I got 100% rating uh, from them uh, this past year. I always carry and show these to my mother, because I never got 100% rating when I was in high school. So, uh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate your vote. Thank you so much.